Oh, hi, good evening. Uh, tonight I'm going to install a connector onto this cable. And uh, the connector I'm using is pretty high end. It's the Amphino connector. And uh, this is for the RG8. Uh, so I also need a reducer to uh, shrink the size to this. This is RG8X. So 8x is a um, two uh, uh, two hundred forty, and uh, 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 basically it's a quarter quarter inch I think, and uh, uh, this one is for the uh, point four inch. So I need this reducer to shrink it. And uh, let me open it. I need to install. At two ends, try to create a nine-inch cable. Uh, cable, and this cable is a pretty uh, good cable. This is the uh, Belton cable, very flexible. Uh, okay, so I'm going to show you how I do it. First, I need to cut it. I have a data sheet here, tell me uh, how long to cut. Basically, I need to cut a seventeen point five millimeter. Uh, uh, portion out. So I need to measure it first. 17.5 and uh, to use a marker to mark it. Yeah, nothing is very accurate, just uh, uh, in this boundary. Okay, 17.5 is right here. So it's around here. Okay, so I'm going to cut it. Um, the way I cut it, I have a cutter, but uh, the cutter might cut the uh, the copper wire inside, I don't like it, so I use this scissor to cut it. Scissor I can control by my hand. Uh, I like, I, I use it, I have both, but I use scissor. Okay, okay see, nothing, is, no wire is cut off, so. Put a little bit. it yeah now it's there uh, this is 17.5 then I need to oh before doing that I need to um, put all those things in place forgot to almost Last time I forgot to put it and uh, uh, I have to cut the cable again. But this time it's okay because the other end is, uh, uh, is open, yeah, uh, open now. First this one, then I need to put this one here. Okay, so now I basically to, it says that uh, this uh, exposed, uh, Copper should be 9.5, so it's about uh, about this length. So I cut it short a little bit. 9.5. Yeah, it's it's not no need to be very accurate. It's more or less. Uh, to demo to you, I, I try to be as as good as uh, it can. Okay, so, so what I do is just to use my just roughly cut it off. Yeah. Okay, let me. 
Yeah, I have this Y cutter to cut uh, the other portion, but uh, this one, many times I cut the uh, copper wire or I cut uh, too much or too less. So for this one, I, I feel the scissor is uh, pretty good. So now it's uh, fold, fold that down, the copper wire. Down. So this is a pretty good cable. So you can see lots of copper wire. Now I need to cut another portion here. This portion is uh, 14 millimeter. So 14. Okay, 14 millimeter. So it's about about here. Yeah. Yeah, so I, what I do is I just uh, use scissors. Yeah. Yeah, again, uh, I'm quite against using uh, cutter. See, this is very fragile, so it's already cut off. See, okay. So it's uh, almost there it's almost there this a little bit too too much okay now we need to solid it first I need to make sure this is a uh, we don't need the measure at all uh, I, I don't need this one and I put some flex there to oh let me okay I have flux and uh, here oh I need to turn this on so the uh, solder I normally put into 750 uh, uh, degree and this one uh, put some solder Yeah, it's pretty fast. Yeah, okay, there. That's it. Now the next part is uh, just to Put this part push it in. Make sure it's evenly distributed. It's not really a big deal, but uh, it's nice to be evenly distributed. Okay, what happened to here? Yeah, it's 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 uh, it's nice to put put some. Put some flex here because I need to solder that later on. Okay, now it's very sticky. You can see uh, it's a little bit sticking out here. I can see a little bit sticking here. That's perfect. The size, everything is perfect. So now I need to solder the four uh, four ends here. Uh, oh, need to solder here top. I normally put some there, so it's easy. Without the uh, the uh, flux, it's pretty pretty hard. Okay. So I tilt it a little bit up, so let the solder to 
fill in. Uh, make sure uh, don't drop it out in the wall. Otherwise, you just have the See, yeah, it's still, still had last. I should use a smaller tip. Now it's too late to to change the tip. Let me see if it's it's supposed to be. Yeah, still see. There's still plenty of space I need to fill in. Really need to secure it. Nice, looks pretty nice. You can see it's rounded. Nice, looks good. Now there's a four holes here, and we need to uh, feel so. Yeah, I feel that uh, if I put a flex there, it's pretty easy to to do. Yeah, I should use the smaller uh, tip. Uh, I need to change it, but it's too late. Done. Yeah, you can stick in uh, something out because uh, uh, there's space there, so uh, you don't need to be flush to the surface. The last one, there's no no copper wire there, uh, but uh, I need to solder it anyway. Just to solder to the reduce.
it's, it's done and uh, this is uh, not really looks nice but it's okay I'm not good at this one so I just show you you, you probably do the better job than me uh, this is a uh, much yeah, sometimes I if I put too much I I use a knife to clean it okay uh, looks okay now now we put everything, everything together This way here. Okay. Yeah. I like this very much. Uh, compared to this one, you can see this one I bought. Uh, this one you have no space to hold it, and it's uh, narrow. This is much wider, and when you pull, you can actually hold this one. But here, you, when I pull, I hold the cable. It's not secure. This is the crimped one, uh, a crimped one. And then I don't like this one. Uh, and this is, feels much better. And uh, in order to make sure that it's uh, okay, normally I use a, a junk one to test it. Oh. Yeah, just uh, uh, need to test it. And if it's too much, you use a knife to scratch it. Okay, that's it.